why people decide that they need to mow their lawn as soon as I sit down to film. It's like they plan this shit. I swear they do. People these days, so inconsiderate. <laughs> And today I am here with a review for Sophie Kinsella's Finding Audrey. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. So, without further ado, let us get started. So this book follows 14-year-old Audrey who suffers from general anxiety disorder, social anxiety, and clinical depression after an incident that happened at school. She finds it very difficult to leave her house as well as make eye contact with other people so she wears these dark sunglasses to cover up her eyes and that's when she meets a boy named Linus who is a friend of her older brother Frank and that is when things begin to change for her. I really didn't think that I was going to like the book as much as I did. I've heard like mixed reviews on it. Some people say that the rep of anxiety is really bad. Other people say the rep of anxiety is really good. I personally don't have anxiety, so I cannot tell you whether or not it was good or not, but I really liked the book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 on Goodreads. It was really cute, really fluffy, and not to mention really surprisingly funny. I didn't think that I would laugh out loud at this book, but a lot of the times the things that Audrey was saying or like her inner monologue and the subplot between Frank and Audrey's mom was just hilarious. All the characters were so well done. The book deals with very hard topics like bullying and obviously anxiety and mental illness but it does it in a way that mixes it with humor which makes it so much lighter and easier to read. I think that the writing style flowed really well and I really liked the inclusion of the film transcripts into the book. It was like a nice break from the difficult topics. I really liked how this wasn't like a girl has mental illness, meets a boy, and is magically cured story. Audrey dealt with her problems herself. Yes, Linus was a help to her, but she worked through it with the help of her therapist and her family, and it wasn't like the giant focus on the relationship. And I really liked how Audrey wasn't 100% better in the end. It was still her working and coping with her mental illness. The characters in the book were honestly the best part. I thought they were all hilarious and so well developed. I just loved every single one of them. Felix, Audrey's four-year-old brother, is the cutest little bean in the entire world. He has my heart. I just love him so much. Every scene that he was in had me like giggling and just wanting to like cuddle him. He's just so cute. I really liked the relationship between Audrey and her older brother Frank. I think that it was so sweet to see that he cared about her so much and he was so supportive in everything that she wanted to do. And I just really like that because like me and my brother we ain't that close so seeing a relationship like that it was kind of like I want that. I want that real bad. The side story between Frank and their mother was such a great comic relief. I thought it was hilarious. Every time they were in a scene together and Audrey's mom would just like flip out over his video gaming. It was so funny. Like just the way she would react and you could just like hear her screaming in your head and it was just ugh, it was so good. I also really did like Linus and Audrey together. I think that their relationship worked really well and I liked how he was able to push her just enough to get her to like her breaking point but like not her breaking point if that makes sense and he really did help her with her mental illness and getting through it but it wasn't like the huge major plot point in the book which I thought was really nice. I did have two major issues with the book which is why I dropped a star. One was we never really find out what caused Audrey's breakdown. We just know that something big happened with a couple of girls in her school, but we never know the event that actually took place, and that just kind of bothered me. Because, like, I just really want to know, so, like, it's probably more, like, preference for me because I'm just curious, but it really irked me. The second thing that really bothered me was that she went from not being able to look anybody in the eyes to suddenly being able to, like, make out with a boy in a matter of, like, days. 
it just seemed like her recovery was way too quick to me. Because, like, if she's so anxious that she can't even leave the house, she can't look at anybody, like, she physically has to turn her body away from people when they come into the room, how is she suddenly, like, swap and spit, you know? It just didn't make sense to me. But overall, I would definitely recommend this book if you're looking for, like, a cute contemporary book that still deals with a difficult topic, but does it in a way that mixes humor with it so it's a lot easier to read about. I gave the book a 4 out of 5 stars. I think everybody should read it. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. And I like mental illness books, so you know your girl was gonna enjoy this one. Alright guys, so that was my review for Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. Let me know down below if you've read the book or what you thought of it. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.